Hello and welcome to another special movie review episode of Tony the Movie Guy. This one's about Thor Ragnarok. So I'm going to go ahead and play it and I'll talk to you guys after. Bye. All right, hello everyone. This is Tony and the Movie Guy and Miss Money Annie. There you go. And I finally got it right. Okay, good. So um, we just saw Thor Ragnarok, which oh, was really so fun. So fun. Really fun. So this is going to just be a um, kind of fast podcast episode reviewing Thor Ragnarok. Uh, it's been out for a couple of days. Um, you know, I don't know that we're necessarily going to discuss spoilers, but we're going to talk about the movie. So we'll probably note that at the beginning. Um, and then obviously I'm going to give my rating of it out yeah. of, you know, one out of five. And again, just to recap, so one is basically like terrible, skip it. You know, two is like, meh, like, yeah, meh, it's, it was all right. Not, not very good. Three is like a good film. Four is a very good film. Um, and five is like uh, unmissable. Basically, I can't really say instant classic, but like destined to be a classic. Right. Um, so those are the ratings. Um, and we're going to keep doing these um, movie reviews um, as like podcast episodes for new films we see. And I'd really appreciate the listeners' feedback. If you enjoy these and you want the, us to continue doing these, we will. Because I also always post my movie review of a new film on Tony and the Movie Guy, the Facebook page. Um, but we kind of like talking about the films yeah. after they come out. So let us know, listeners, your feedback. And if it's something you want us to continue doing, we will do. But since we just saw Thor Ragnarok, we're going to talk about it now. So, yes. I mean, you've got a big, huge smile on your face. So I think you loved it a lot more than me. Yes. But I did really like it. You did. No. I did really like it. And, you know, there's obviously a reason you're Tony the movie guy and I'm also just a girl in love with Chris I Hemsworth. I analyze every yeah. aspect. But you loved it more than oh, just I, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, I mean, other, I mean, you get a good minute of a shot off, which is, you know, honestly, I'm sorry, I have okay, to say he that. He does get a shot off. Yeah, and he looks spectacular. But no, genuinely, seriously wow. now, it, um, I found it, I mean, I love a film that makes me laugh. Right. Honestly, it's like... Um, non-stop in this film every three minutes and the jokes were good yeah i enjoyed them i'd say 98 percent, maybe 95 percent of the jokes actually land correct very well really well and yeah. and different than the usual you know a, a lot of jokes in recent movies have become repetitive and you just don't even laugh anymore and i right. found it just really funny and um, obviously, the chemistry between Chris Hemsworth and um, Loki, Loki, Tom Hiddleston, yeah, Tom Hiddleston is, is fantastic, so which good. was one of the highlights for me, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, look, let me just say something. So, number one, Thor Ragnarok. I mean, that's the third Thor film yeah. they've made. Um, and I love them all, by yeah, the way. So I actually like the first Thor. Yeah. The Dark World, which is the one that most people deride. I like the most. That was my favorite too. Uh, the second one, yeah. I really like it. And actually, that one's quite funny, too. Very they funny. They both are. Um, yeah. All three of them are. Um, I think the difference with this one, Ragnarok, is it basically plays as a flat-out comedy totally. from start to finish. That's the difference. It doesn't just have... Because all the Marvel movies yeah. really do their bits of comedy well, but Thor Ragnarok is basically just a flat-out action Hunstop, comedy. Yeah. And it's like the first Marvel film that's really like that. Mm -hmm. Deadpool's the only other thing that is I could give a comparison to. Sure. But it was totally unique and different. Yeah. And that's my only thing. So I absolutely loved Chris Hemsworth because I really think he got to shine and show his comedic talents. Yeah. I mean, he's got a great knack for comedy. And Tom Hiddleston, uh, I mean, he made that character Loki so just so lovable. He's yeah. so good. And you're totally right. Their chemistry as brothers yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and also his chemistry with the Hulk. Yeah. In this film, that's what, one of the things I really enjoyed was you got to see more of, of them and a bit of a brotherliness of the Hulk yeah, and Yeah, the Hulk Thor. was fantastic. And they were just, they their whole scene, uh, there's a scene where they're together Who? and uh, the Hulk and Thor, you know, in the bedroom. Oh, they, were, yeah. <laughs> they, they have some jokes in there that were just so funny. And well, then, you're right. It's non-stop yeah, laughs. It's it was, funny it from great. start to finish. So Thor Ragnarok is, um, it's the third one. I'd say it's easily the best Thor film. Yeah. I'd agree with that. Uh, it's already in the top five of 
you know, best Marvel movies of all time. People love this movie. It's it's getting critical um, raves. It made $121 million at the box office. Um, here's my thing. Story-wise, plot-wise, it, it's not really about anything. Uh, Kate Blanchett plays like this, the, the goddess of death yeah. who comes and takes over, what's the name of the... Thor city Asgard. Asgard and basically takes control of it and Thor gets banished to this like other dimension world where he ends up like being in a gladiator pit with with Hulk um, and it, you know it's kind of how he has to go back and reunite with uh, you know Loki and kind of save Asgard and then it kind of takes some twists and turns um, but the plot the story didn't really matter to me right it to me it just you're not wrong on that to I, me I, it just worked right because it was so funny, it was so entertaining. The director himself, uh, Tai... Tai... Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. Um, he directed it. He did Hunt for the Wilder People. Ah, he yeah. directed What We Do in the Shadows, which are great films I love. And he voices that rock monster, Cork, who I oh. thought was hilarious. Oh, it's that guy. The, like, Hello, how are you doing, guys? And he's like, he's really like, you know, what's the word? Like, intimidating yeah. and then his voice is like hey how you doing you guys want some coffee yeah. you want some tea hey man how you doing i <laughs> recognize so that funny. guy from yeah from that that's that was also a great character they yeah. had a lot of great jeff characters Goldblum doing what jeff Goldblum yeah. does he You're was right, fantastic though, if you think about and took out the uniqueness of the characters the chemistry and the comedy the plot line is mm -hmm. nothing special right would it work you know i no. thought kate blanchett she's here's what's funny kate blanchett is I mean, one of the best actresses She's in the amazing, world. Yeah. I love her. To me, I mean, there was nothing special about her performance. Yeah. It was one note. What worked, what shone brightest was the comedy. Yeah, you know, totally. I, I did think Tessa Thompson was good as Valkyrie. Yeah. Um, she the was, girl who plays she Valkyrie. She was good. She I was, liked to her. me, a little forgettable. Like, she did her character well. Right. But out of everyone in the movie, I, I, would, I, I thought she was fine. Yeah. So, look, I gave um, Thor Ragnarok three and a half out of five stars, which to me is like, you know, very good. It's like a, a very good movie. The only reason a lot of people are like, no, it's an, you know, it's going to be an instant classic and it should be five out of five. The only reason I didn't give it that much is because I, I need to watch it a few more times and see yeah. how it holds up, Yeah, you know, because that was the one thing, like I really enjoyed myself in the theater. I laughed out loud 20 times. Everyone else in the theater yeah. did. It was a lot of fun, but I was kind of like, you know, take away just the comedy and the right. nonstop jokes. There's not much structure to this film. I don't know that I would really remember it much. And I mentioned this to you, um, Spider-Man Homecoming, just real quick to finish my thoughts, Spider-Man Homecoming. When I saw that in the theater, I True. loved that movie. And then I walked out of the theater and I forgot about it. Right. Well, we bought it on iTunes and we watched it in 4K two weeks ago and I loved it. Okay. And I was like, oh, this is really good. So, so it I held up. Yeah, so it actually holds up. So I just, I need to see it again because I think I gave Spider-Man Homecoming three and a half out of five stars mm -hmm. when it came out. Now I'd probably give it four. Right. So it might be a similar thing with Thor Ragnarok. I I am absolutely recommending it. It's such a good time at the movies. Oh, it's such a good fun. It, you know, it's basic. It's like an action comedy. And, and also the action sequences are spectacular. Yeah. There are phenomenal. It's very well directed by that guy with a weird name. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just would have liked to have seen more plot. But again, it's a Marvel movie. Yeah. So, I mean, it's they're not really doing it to make an intricate story. Did you want to say something? No, I just suddenly remembered my favorite scene in the whole movie is actually the Doctor Strange scene. That in that whole oh, sequence. He was great in it. Was Benedict so funny. Has that, a cameo, yeah. The anyway, there's some jokes in there and the cameo and he obviously keeps filling up Thor's uh, beer yeah. glass, you know. <laughs> that whole that I really enjoyed. There were just some really there were some good s sequences and I liked where it was also leading. It's obviously uh, there is um, it leads to a fourth film. Right, one hundred percent. Yeah, it will be a huge success. It's almost made four five hundred million dollars worldwide already. Um, and, you know, and Chris Hemsworth. I mean, he is great. He yeah, embodies Thor perfectly. Yeah. He, he really does. Again, Tom Hiddleston as Loki. So um, he, he just made that character. So, I mean, talk about a, a villain that everyone loves. You know, totally. <laughs> you, you hate to love him. You love to hate him. It's, it's and so how funny. he switches from 
good to bad to good to bad. All the you time. know he's always gonna do something I saw sneaky. That coming, yeah. Of course. I just he's just so delicious. Yeah, though. he's so, so good. delicious. Yeah, I, I just realized Benedict Cumberbatch and Tom Hiddleston are both in this movie. No wonder you love it so much. <laughs> both your I adore British them. boyfriends. They are my British boyfriends. And Chris Hemsworth. That's it's why you trio. love this movie so much. <laughs> no, but I did, and I honestly, I also I've told you in films, it's what I walk out feeling. Right. I'm not only analyzing the film for me. It's how do I walk out feeling? I walked out so happy, so entertained. I would watch it again in a second. So you, you would know? give it four out of five, four, right? Four out of five, or at least three and three quarters if that existed. Three and three, I, I gave it three and a half. I'm just That's kidding with you. <laughs> no, <sighs> for, for me, it was a definite four Okay. for my own enjoyment, but I totally validate and I, I actually agree with you on the plot yeah. points. That, that does make sense. Yeah, so look, I mean, I def especially right now, um, I don't know what else is in the theater that's so amazing. I definitely recommend it. If you want a good popcorn movie, uh, Thor Ragnarok, oh, go watch it. It's, you know, it is so funny. It's the yeah. funniest Marvel movie they've ever made for sure. Um, and uh, it's definitely the best Thor movie. And I would put it up there with the Marvel movies. I don't know that I'd say it's in the top five, like a lot of people are saying. Um, it, it's certainly really really entertaining yeah. um and i will say this yeah you're totally right it's the reason you should go out to the movies yeah you know it's you'll leave with a smile on your face totally okay good so thor ragnarok three out of five stars that's all i've got to say right yeah you got anything I else i think we're good all right go watch it guys have fun bye bye Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Tony the Movie Guide, the podcast. This is the movie review for Thor Ragnarok. Remember to follow us on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Tony the Movie Guy. Also, you can email us anytime at Tony the Movie Guy podcast at gmail.com. And do send us emails or, um, you know, reach out to us on Facebook. Do you like these movie review podcasts? Um, do you rather just get them on the Facebook page? Would you rather, you know not have them as a podcast just let us know we'd like to hear your feedback on it um and also most importantly please do leave a five-star review um on itunes for us so we can help get the word out to more people and spread it around share it with your own friends and family we'd really appreciate it and we really hope to keep on bringing you podcasts for many years to come anyway talk to you soon Bye bye